guys. Today we're going to keep going with retelling. So I'm going to read you a nonfiction book today. We're going to learn all about lions. So when you hear me speaking out loud, we're speaking what I'm thinking. Listen to the questions I'm asking you because when it comes time for the quiz, those might be things that I talk about when it's time for the quiz because when you're retelling in a nonfiction book, you're answering questions that are given to you that let me know about facts you learned in the book. So kind of like last week when we and the week before that, when we were talking about those key details or things that you learned from the book, because when you have a nonfiction, there's not really a, mid, a beginning, middle, and end, or characters or settings, because those are more non, those are fiction book things. And when you have a nonfiction book, you're learning about the facts that are being presented to you. So I'm gonna ask your questions in your quiz in order of the book. So that way it's less confusing. So let's really pay attention to the fun things we can learn about lions today. And tomorrow we're gonna have another nonfiction book. And I'm really excited because these two things are fun for me to learn about, just like I think they'll be fun for you to learn about because today we're learning about lions. And this book, Lions, is written by Animal Safari. Here we have our table of contents that goes through what each and every section of our book is. And we're gonna to get to each one of these sections as we read them. This is, what are lions? Lions are strong, wild cats. And here it's, it's bolding this word wild, because it's letting you know that these cats are not like your cats that are at home. Uh, some of you have pet cats, but lions are not cats that you can have as pets. Lions are out in the wild. They live in the wild. And you can't have these as pets. So I wonder if you can think, why wouldn't you want a lion as a pet? Even though it's a cat, why wouldn't you want this cat as a pet? Mm -hmm. I wonder if you can figure out why that might not be such a good idea. It says male lions are known for their thick manes. And their manes are this right here, all this big fluffy hair that's flowing around this lion as he's running. That's his mane and only males or boy tigers have a mane, girl tigers don't. Prides. Lions live in grasslands and forests. And grasslands are like what this picture shows you right here. It's a big flat land that's just covered in grass. So that's where you see them sitting here. It's a flat piece of it, flat, flat land. There's no, there's not a lot of hills or mountains and it's covered in grass. It says they form in groups called prides. So when you see a big group of lions, that's called a pride. So what they, we call those a pride of lions. Prides have males, which are boys, females, which are girls, and cubs. So if we have if we have boys and girls, cubs are the babies. So cubs is what we call a baby lion. A pride can have between three and 40 lions. Can you imagine seeing 40 lions? That's a lot of lions. Most lions in a pride are female. A pride can have up to three adult males. So these are our female lions. Remember, this is our male lion. See his mane? And then these are what our female lions look like. Males and females in a pride have different jobs. Females care for cubs and hunt. So they're saying, a male does something, he has a job, just like maybe your mom and dad might have a job. Dad has a job and mom has a job. Well, the female lion, she has a job and she either cares for the baby lions or the cubs, because remember baby lions are called cubs, or she goes hunting. So the female lions are the ones that hunt. Female stock gazelles, that's a gazelle, 
a zebra. I remember zebra are the big stripe. They kind of look like horses, but with black and white stripes. And they hunt other animals. They like to surprise their prey. The pride gathers around dead prey. Males usually eat first. See, there's the zebra we were talking about. Males keep the pride safe. They chase away animals that come into their territory. So he's, so you'd look at him, is, does he look like he's trying to eat the monkey or try and get the monkey to run away? Look at the face he's Mason. Does he look angry or does he just look like he's trying to scare him? Yeah, he doesn't look like he's trying to eat him. He looks like he's making a silly face. He's just trying to chase the monkey away. So that way he can keep his pride or his family safe. Males show their teeth to scare animals away. Rawr! <laughs> That's my favorite part. I think maybe it's just because I like to roar. All right, so I asked lots of questions when I was reading there or I was thinking aloud and telling you more information about each one of those pieces. So when you get to your quiz, just like the last couple of days, I'm not gonna put any pictures in there because I wanna see if you can remember this information and retell it to me without a picture. And that's the hardest part of retelling is that you can't use the picture to help you. So you gotta just try and close your eyes and picture the page where it's telling you the information. So I'm just gonna read the book for you one more time. And I'm not gonna add any of my extra comments. And then that might help you remember our information. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share my book for you one more time. Let's see if Miss Hayes can find it. There it is. It says, Lions by Animal Safari. So what are lions? Lions are strong, wild cats. Males are known for their thick manes. Prides. Lions live in grasslands and forests. They form groups called prides. Prides have males, females, and cubs. A pride can have between three and 40 lions. Most lions in a pride are female. A pride can have up to three adult males. These are female lions, and that's a male lion. Males and females in a pride have different jobs. Females care for cubs and hunt. Females stalk gazelles, zebras, and other animals. They like to surprise their prey. The pride gathers around dead prey. Males usually eat first. Males keep the pride safe. They chase away animals that come into their territory. Males show their teeth to scare away animals. Roar! Hopefully you roared with me on that last page because that's the most fun part of the whole book is to roar at the end. All right, now I'm gonna have you go and try and take your quiz, try your best. And remember, you can take the quiz two times. So if you take it the first time and you're like, oh man, maybe I need to reread the book. You can go back and watch the video again if you get some wrong answers and see if you can't jog your memory onto what some of those answers might be and then take your quiz the, another time because you can take it twice. So don't just take it the one time if you don't feel like you did your best and you wanna try again. I think that's super great. 
try again if you want to. That's why I have the option for you to go back and that's why I make these videos so you can watch them as many times as you need to. So if you wanna come back and rewatch it after you take your quiz, I'll see you in a little bit. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow for our next nonfiction book. Have a good day, guys and gals.